Matthew 18 verses 16 to 17, bear your testimony. Matthew 18 verses 16 to 17. 16 But if he does not listen to you, take one or two more with you, so that on the testimony of two or three witnesses, every matter may be confirmed. 17 And if he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church, and if he refuses to listen even to the church, he is to be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Testimony is written in the Holy Bible 116 times, and the meaning of it is a person's reputation. A person's reputation, even the Lord's, has to be honest, so much so God's word tells us it's the ninth commandment. Exodus 20:16. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. According to Matthew in chapter 18, 16 to 17, Jesus is teaching about church discipline in the gospel. People go to church for worship, but the church is also where members learn more about God. That happens like children going to school that read textbooks to get an education. But the textbook in the church is the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible reveals to a Christian what sin is, and even better so, in congregation meetings. A close church family will see or know when another church member is sinning. This is not good for that person, unsuitable for the church, and unsuitable for Christ. Christians represent Christ and his church and call themselves Christians, so they tell the world they are Christ-like. So the church has every right to give a fellow brother or sister tough Christian love. This is supposed to take place in private, but if the brother or sister does not listen, he or she is treated like an outsider of the church. This means they are removed from the church. This is done on behalf of Christ and the church's testimony because the individual released has a flawed testimony. I joined the church in the summer of 2002 and was faithful in attendance, but I wasn't giving a tithe. I don't know how Pastor Thorne he and knew I was not giving a tithe, but he discreetly approached me, saying, Samuel, you should give a tithe to the church and test and see what would happen as holy words say. Malachi 3 verse 8, Would anyone rob God? Yet you are robbing me. But you say, How have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings. 9 You are cursed with a curse, for you are robbing me, the entire nation of you. 10 Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, so that there may be food in my house, and put me to the test now in this, says the Lord of armies, if I do not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you a blessing until it overflows. So I listened to Pastor Hien's advice, I started giving my 10% tithe, and later when I saw God increase my blessing, I gave an additional offering with my tithe. The blessings I received from the Lord increased more and more, before I gave, I would struggle from month to month for food or money. But ever since I listened to Pastor Hean's advice and tested the Lord at his word, my testimony is this, God keeps his promises, and I am living proof. Brothers and sisters love the body of Christ, which is his church, is where Christian love and learning is experienced. Don't forsake it, you would only forsake your relationship with the Lord and miss out on good Christian fellowship. God bless you all, the Bridegroom. Jesus loves you, and so do I. His bondservant Samuel Jerry Head Matthew 18 verse 18 Truly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall have been bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall have been loosed in heaven. 19 Again I say to you, that if two of you agree on earth about anything that they may ask, it shall be done for them by my Father who is in heaven. 20 For where two or three have gathered together, in my name, I am there in their midst. First Corinthians 5 verse 10 Not at all meaning the people of this world, who are immoral, or the greedy and swindlers, or idolaters. In that case you would have to leave this world. 11 But now I am writing to you that you must not associate with anyone who claims to be a brother or sister but is sexually immoral or greedy, an idolater or slanderer, a drunkard or swindler. Do not even eat with such people. 12 What business is it of mine to judge those outside the church? Are you not to judge those inside? 13 God will judge those outside. Expel the wicked person from among you.